Hey everybody. As I'm like stretched across because I can't get to my laptop. Welcome to the stream. Uh yeah. Let me just text something. Good. People can hear me. That's what I care about. People can hear me, that's what matters. Um so you can tell that the PlayStation 2 is right here. It is not there. Where it belongs next to the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 because if y'all remember last stream while running for preseason in WWE Smackdown via PS1 the uh, laser optic drive crapped out yep so we're going into hardware mode people um, I'm not going to be paying attention to the chat as much as I probably should, just simply because I got I need to focus on what I'm doing. Like, I do have my phone here set up with in-stream manager so I can see the chat, because obviously on my computer next to the Streamlabs OBS screen is the Microsoft Edge screen, which is what I usually have up for the um so i can see the chat and i can add highlights and or put in markers so i can do my highlight video packages and stuff like that um no no instead of that that's the instructions on what to do so i don't fuck this up so yeah this ought to be fun spare bottle right there just in case because I'm going to be stressing stressing out over this so got my spare laptop or tray over here <clears throat> so yeah let's just get right on to it all right Flip the PlayStation 2 over so it lays with the bottom of the device facing upwards. Use the flat edge of a metal sponger. I'm using tweezers. Uh, to pry the eight flat screw covers out. Oh, okay, there. For sanity purposes. I'm going to be setting this up over here like you would any other setup. Come on, get out, you bastard. There we go. Apologies to anyone if I don't have the greatest camera angles. It's just, you know, you work with what you got, with the space that you got. Move the following eight screws, securing the top covers at the bottom one. All right, so grab my screwdriver. Hopefully this will work. Aha, good. Right size screwdriver. Did not want to try to go around trying to find a screwdriver. Out. 
there. With, whoa, holy shit. Look at that. Probably one of the few times where I'm glad I didn't trim my fingernails right away. in there. Oh, that's also a smaller screw. This is why you have a set -up, set up system. So you don't fuck it up. You make sure you put the right screws where they belong. Scared to play patties today? No, it's um when the PS2 crapped out the other night. This was always the plan. I always like you and I have actually discussed this, Nick. Where eventually there was going to be a stream where I had to work on the PlayStation 2 and replace the laser optic drive. Like you've always known that. Like it was never a secret that I was going to have to do this as on a stream. But um if you're game for playing later, you know, I'd be game for playing later. It won't be Apostles versus Patties just simply because you know, I don't have a crew available to me at this time to play as Apostles, so Why is one screw bigger than the other? What the fuck? That was weird. All right. That's been taken care of. Some models have a different number of screws and feet. Remove all the feet and the screws on the bottom of the case. The 10 screw model has six screws on the bottom of his portion and four in the upper tray. I had eight. Um, yeah, I don't have any screws right here. Peel away the warranty sticker located next to the main power switch straight away from the case to avoid attaching. Before attaching the void that may come up, heat it carefully to remove and replace it clean. To avoid activating the void that may come up. Okay, well, first off, I don't think we have to worry about voiding anything because, quite frankly, um. PlayStation ain't doing, warranting these systems anymore. So I'm not overly worried about that. So. Again, one of the few times where I'm actually happy I did not trim my fingernails right away like I normally do. I 
Oh, I see what it means. Because as you peel it, it starts saying void all over it. Again, Sony ain't refurbishing PlayStation 2s, so I ain't too overly worried about this. back on so you can just go in the trash um but yeah Nick if you want maybe later we can probably play some threes of limbs because I know you invited me to play the other day just bad timing <laughs> okay flip the PlayStation back to its original upside position lift the top cover off the bottom base Yikes. Uh, to facilitate the removal, it is recommended to pry open the half closest to the power switch first, then rocking the top and forward. Carefully remove the power cord that attached the top and bottom halves by disconnecting the power cord assembly from the bottom of the case. Carefully remove the power core that attaches the top. I don't understand that. Oh! Shit. I need a smaller screwdriver. Let's see. Let me see. Do I have. Oh, good. This might work. This is from the glasses cleaning kit. That's dusty as fuck. Is that gonna work? Shit. I think this is going to work. Ah, shit. My screwdriver's too big. Move the four. Who's four? I only see two on mine. All right. I'll be back. I need to find a smaller actual screwdriver.
right, let's see if one of these screwdrivers work. Maybe? Kind of? strip the screws, man. <sighs> oh, this one's moving. <gasps> we got one. Kind of working on it. Working on it. Goal is not to strip the, strip the screw. Got one. All right, we're going to very carefully put you right there. And we're gonna work on you. I can get that one. I can get you. Yeah, there we go. This screw doesn't want to come out. Like I felt it move. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we're coming. Slowly but surely. And that's the thing, I don't want to press too hard. I don't want to break anything. There's four screws, but I only see the two. I don't see any other screws. Lift and remove lid. Uh, special way to remove it for me because I only see Screws, what the fuck? There's my flashlight. And 
the flashlight died. <laughs> oh, no it didn't. Just turned on after I dropped it. Why won't it let me remove? <sighs> like there's where the screws were. It can't be that. Because the picture up here. Showed four there. But the thing is, is that with mine, I had one here and one there. I only had two screws. So how do you take this one off? Break the thing. Ah, oh, got it. I got one piece. Nah, shit. Here we go. Oh, that wasn't good. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. God damn it. <sighs> Shit. I broke a piece off right here. Hopefully, it will not negatively affect anything. Hopefully. Okay, we did that. What's next? Step six, remove the two, 7.2 milliliter. Yes. This supposed to come off or no? I think it's supposed to come out. I don't know. Securing the silver metal rails that hold the laser in place. Something tells me this is supposed to come out too. Let's see something real quick.
something tells me this is supposed to come out to underneath this so I have to get to that how the fuck do I get to that That's the thing. These rare. I need a paper clip. I have an idea. a hole. There's no hole. What the fuck? So I need this thing open. And normally for CD drives, there's a hole. It helps open up CD drive port. So the reality is, is that I can't get to here because the screws are like right here. If I try to pop it out, I'm going to break the fucking thing. because I can't pop the thing out. This is a waste of fucking time. Because if I try to take this piece off, I'm just going to break the entire fucking thing.
you know, this is like a, a nice, strong message for Sony, but it's like, you got to stop fucking around and actually let us play old school games on PS4 and PS5 and shit like that. You know, we still like to play these fucking games. And the fact that we can't play these fucking games is bullshit unless we actually have a working PS2 or PS1. I have a working PS1. But the problem is, is that I can't hook the thing up to, like, the video card to make it work. It just ain't gonna work. I have to go out and buy a new PS2. <sighs> this bullshit. You know, it would have been nice if people in this area you know, also fucking responded to, like, messages inquiring about fixing this thing. And the problem is that a lot of places in this area don't want to fix this thing. And that's infuriating, too, because it's like there is a market for this stuff. I really don't want to be streaming PS4 games again. Maybe I can stream PS3. I don't know. That's the thing. If I pull this up, it just takes everything with it. Fuck. Wait a minute. What was that? Did I just get something? Is this a possibility? Please don't break anything. Nah, that's the actual sliding track, I think.
Ah. Work with me here. Shit. Yep. Called it. Broke it. no screws right here. Oh no, there they are right there. No, those aren't the screws. There are no screws right there. So how do I take this thing off? <sighs> There's actually no way for this PS2 model to actually take it out. Like, how am I supposed to take it out? There's no screws right here. The screws that it's telling me to go for, that hold the rail in place, doesn't actually exist. So I have to go buy a whole new PS2, and I won't be able to do that probably until uh, Friday. Maybe. I don't know what I can do. I just have to buy a new PS2. That that's all I can really do. This sucks. because there's nothing I can do about it. And I broke this piece off, so even then I'd still have to buy a new PS2 because I had to break this fucking piece off. Can't do shit about it. Because there's no screws. See, look, a picture is telling me there's supposed to be two screws right here and I'm supposed to take out that will allow me to remove this piece right here and just slide it off like to take these bars and just slide it out and then take the new piece right here and just slide it right in but I can't fucking do that because there's no fucking screws right there I got the right part that I needed.
This is also why I didn't want to take it to fuck apart myself. And I wanted somebody else to do it. I can't do anything with this. I can't repair it. It's not repairable. And it looks like it's slightly different here, too, because there's a screw right here. Which, I don't have a fucking tool to get to that. Like, that's... That's like a mini baby Allen wrench or something. I think anything that I have can fit into that thing. I'm moving it. Stay on the screw. Yeah, but even then, still can't take it off. <sighs> the only thing I can do with this now is just throw it in the fucking trash. Can't do shit with it. Three straight hits into a goal. Oh, nice. So infuriating. I'll put you back in your little casing for protection. Cause like the part's still good. I just can't put it in. All I can really do is just throw this in the trash. Give me a sec. And anyone who gets pissed that I threw this away, get over it. Because this got fucked. the camera right the first time. How about that? Yeah, do it like a slight lower. <sighs> I 
I know people are probably looking at it and like, why do you have to be so dejected and upset? And I was like, because I wanted to fix this goddamn thing so I could play old school games with you guys. And have fucking fun. Can't even do fucking that. And it's infuriating to me. The fact that I go, go out and buy another goddamn PS2, because the one that I had, you couldn't even fucking repair it because of the way it was set up on the inside. You know, that sucks. And then on top of that, the fact that Sony wants to play this fucking game with all of us, where they don't even want to give us backwards compatibility when they should be giving us backwards compatibility. It's like, come on. <sighs> fucking stupid. And I know Nick ain't watching right now because he's playing NHL 21 because he just shot us a video of a replay of him crushing a guy three times and then scoring a goal, which, yeah, that's how threes of limbs is played. I'm not scared to play against patties. The reality is that you guys were the fucking part of the fucking team, and I don't got a fucking team. So how the fuck am I going to play against you guys? How are we going to do apostles versus patties when there is really no apostles? You know? Fucking use your head. It's fucking irritating, man. You try to do something cool and fun, and then you get shit all over. Whether it be by the technology that you got people who were on your fucking team and then decided to abandon you to create their own and then talk shit about it. It's like... It's frustrating, man. Ain't a whole hell of a lot. I mean, there's only two viewers and one of them's my fucking bot and I don't know who the fuck the other viewer is because nobody else is fucking talking. Which is a fucking common theme on this stream that nobody ever wants to fucking talk. Even though I invite you to fucking chat with me. sucks <sighs> I really don't see it a need to stay on sorry I'm just pissed off because it's like not the result that I fucking wanted it's not and that's why I'm pissed and there's nobody on that's worth rating right now so See you Monday? Maybe? <sighs> <sighs> 